So despite what some people may believe, the reason I continue to cover this story about Eugenia Cooney and Jacqueline Glenn is because it's becoming even more apparent that not that many people truly understand mental illness. And I just finished watching Edwin's Generations video on this, and it's becoming even more clear that a lot of people don't understand what it's like to have an intervention, to go to mental health treatment, and many other subjects. So my goal is to help educate a lot of people out there. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them. And something that I'm extremely passionate about is mental health. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, for those of you who don't know, if you didn't get the memo, my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, is out now and it's free at my website. So we've had already over 300 downloads and my goal, which might be crazy, is to get it to a thousand at the end of this month. All right, cancel culture and just like mob mentality and hate mobs and all that, it's a major issue in the YouTube community. That's why I made this book free. So please go check it out, spread the word, and let's have a conversation about it, all right? So yeah, anyways, I wanna start this video off by just kind of discussing Edwin's video that he just released. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. But as I was reading the comments, like there's a lot of people disagreeing with Edwin. And like to kind of summarize my thoughts about because I'm getting the same comments too. But my thoughts about this, like I just sent out this tweet. I think what people don't get with this whole Jacqueline Glenn situation is nobody is denying Jacqueline may have saved Eugenia's life. The issue is she made this information public when it didn't need to be at this time. All right, so please, please, please go watch Edwin's video, watch it all the way through before you leave a comment and try to see what Edwin's saying. Like. I, I totally agree with Edwin. Like, Jacqueline Glenn might be 100% right about Eugenia Cooney's mom. What Edwin is saying, like, as far as Jacqueline Glenn's knowledge, as well as the rest of public knowledge, like, not many of these things being stated are based on objective facts, okay? What Edwin always tries to do is try to show you the situation from different angles, and I hope I can do the same for you as well. So in this video, my goal is kind of to discuss the timeline and help educate those of you who don't kind of understand, you know, the mental health treatment world or dealing with mental illness. I hope that you get a better understanding of this whole situation, all right? I've made a few videos on this topic already, so check out the info card. I'll link those up there. Go check those out, all right? But anyway, Anyways, let's talk. So originally, obviously, Eugenia Cooney has been on the YouTube platform. She's been losing a lot of weight. And back in January, when she posted her Kingdom Hearts cosplay video, a lot of people were really worried. Not long after that, she ended up saying that she's going to treatment and she ended up leaving, right? So she recently came back and she did her video with Shane Dawson. And Jacqueline Glenn, like we don't know what her true motives are, but it seems like Jacqueline Glenn legitimately cared about Eugenia Cooney. And like I said, she may have saved her life, all right? So let's go back, all right? So back when Eugenia Cooney went to treatment, Jacqueline Glenn and her friend, and I believe the guy is her boyfriend, they had an intervention for Eugenia Cooney, okay? Now, this is something I've talked about in my previous videos, and like, uh, again, I'm glad this conversation is happening. Like, I have been involved in so many interventions. Not only did people have interventions for me, but I've also helped hundreds of people get into treatment. And it's, it can get crazy, it can get nuts. But I think especially like in Edwin's video, like he tries to offer you like the perspective of Eugenia Cooney, right? And maybe even the mother, like it can be scary. Like I, I, as I was watching Edwin's video, I was talking to my girlfriend as we were watching it. I was like, I'm just trying to imagine, right? I'm trying to imagine like if my son told me he was going to hang out with some friends and all, and I knew my son might have a problem, right? But out of nowhere, I get a frantic call from him, freaking out, telling me that he's being held against his will and they're gonna send him away to a psych hospital. Like I'm trying to think about, as a parent, how I would react in that situation. So like, I don't think that's a good barometer for Jacqueline Glenn to say like, 
this is how Eugenia's mom is, like what kind of parent would do that? But like I said, I'm gonna go through this time timeline because it seems like Eugenia's mom tried to get her help as well, all right? So the next thing that we need to understand is the intervention that Jacqueline Glenn had for Eugenia Cooney, Eugenia Cooney went to a psych hospital. This was a 5150. For those of you who do not know what a 5150 is, this is when somebody becomes a danger to themselves or others, all right? And the best way to kind of monitor them and, you know, get them, you know, back to the right state of mind is to put them on a psychiatric hold, okay? So this hold can be anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. Now, we don't know all of the details about how long Eugenia Cooney was in there, but if the situation is more severe, they might extend the stay. So they might be there longer. They might be there for a week, multiple weeks, whatever it is. But like I said, I'm not denying that Jacqueline Glenn may have made the right decision, may have saved Eugenia Cooney's life. But like Edwin discusses, he talked to Eugenia and she discusses how traumatic this is. So again, we need to talk about mental health facilities, okay? Eugenia Cooney was struggling with an eating disorder, but the treatment that she initially went into was a psych hospital. So you gotta understand, like while she's struggling with an eating disorder, she was put with a mixed population of people. So while Eugenia Cooney was struggling with an eating disorder, she might have been around people with things like schizophrenia, who are having hallucinations. Some people might be very violent individuals, right? You gotta understand, that's who she was interacting with. So that's not something that she was used to. So they put her in like the most extreme level of care. So you gotta kind of understand why Eugenia would say like, this was a little bit traumatic. And looking back on it, and this is completely through Eugenia Cooney's perspective, like that might've not been the right thing for her. You see what I mean? Like it might've been too extreme and she witnessed a lot of things that she wasn't used to. So I can understand how that first initial experience might be traumatic, all right? But the next thing that I think it's important that we note is that Eugenia Cooney's mother flew Eugenia back to Connecticut so Eugenia could go to an eating disorder treatment center, which is completely different from a psych hospital, all right? So when being in an eating disorder treatment center, right, you're going to have specialists like therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, people who are focused in on your eating disorder and what the root causes of it are and how you're going to heal and what coping skills that you can use in order to avoid relapse, all right? So in that facility, Eugenia Cooney would be surrounded by a different population, which can be very beneficial. Like those of you who don't know me, I worked at a drug and alcohol rehab and we specialized in dual diagnosis. So there were people there with addictions as well as mental illnesses, like eating disorders, anxiety, depression, trauma, all sorts of things, right? So it's very beneficial because you're with people who understand exactly what you're going through. So why, rather than Eugenia Cooney being with people who might, you know, be struggling with things like hallucinations or like, you know, um, manic episodes and things like that, she was surrounded with other people who are trying to overcome an eating disorder, all right? So it's a, a lot more specific to her needs. So I think it's important that we realize that Eugenia Cooney's mother did not just have Eugenia leave that psych hospital and not do anything. She took Eugenia back to Connecticut to go to a specific treatment center for her disorder. So I think that's the question that we need to ask, like when we're looking at this situation from the outside, when none of us know the full details of what's going on, and even Jacqueline has very limited knowledge of Eugenia's mother, right? We have to look and say, okay, well, Eugenia's mom did get her into treatment, so that is something. And something that I, I, I've mentioned in my previous videos is a major part of mental health recovery and treatment is family therapy, okay? Like I mentioned in my video yesterday, codependency might have been one of the factors in this situation. So it's very well possible when Eugenia Cooney's mom brought her back to Connecticut and she went to that treatment center that Eugenia Cooney's mother was involved in that process, all right? So again, like Edwin said, like I'll say again, if new information comes out and Jacqueline Glenn is right, which she might be, that Eugenia Cooney's mother is dangerous, 
like we'll cover it we'll discuss it we'll discuss what to do like other people will cover the story i'm going to try to let you know my opinions on what you should do if you have somebody in your life like that but right now there is not enough objective evidence but i again like the whole goal of these videos is so many people, like if you wanna leave a comment down below if you've ever had an intervention done on you or if you've ever been to a mental health treatment center or even a psych hospital, like share your experience down below because the majority of people, the majority of people watching this situation have never been through any of this. So I really, really just wanna spread awareness and help educate all of you because the next thing you know, one of your loved ones might go through this experience. So although this is a difficult time for Eugenia Cooney and Jacqueline Glenn right now, like I'm really grateful that the YouTube community is having a conversation about these very serious subjects, all right? So anyways, that's all I got for this video. Please check down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. Go download your free copy of my book, Canceled. Let's get it to a thousand downloads by the end of the month. But that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And thank you to everybody who's downloaded and read the book and left reviews and has donated. Oh, you're all amazing. All right, thanks again. I'll see you next time.